All right, so this is session number 18, okay? If this is your first time, you're gonna get eight different skills. With each skill, 30 seconds to a minute to learn the skill. Then you're gonna get two rounds of 30 seconds to compete. Uh, we're asking you to keep your score. I'll tell you how to keep score of each skill. Uh, keep your score for the first 30 seconds. Keep your score for the second 30 seconds. Whichever the better of your two scores is, throw it into the live feed, type it into the live feed, hit the love button, hit the like button, and let everybody know in the live feed what your score was and be honest with your scores. There's no reason to fabricate your scores. And if someone does, you don't need to say anything. It's not a big deal. You're worried about getting better yourself. You're not necessarily worried about what some stranger is doing, okay? If you've got friends on the feed, track their scores. You can compete with them. You know your friends, okay? But if it's somebody you don't know, don't worry about it. Not a big deal. Uh, and then once you've got the better of your two scores, you're gonna throw it into the Google Sheet that Coach Ryan will pin to the page. Uh, it'll be at the top of the page. There's, it's gonna be really hard to miss it. Throw your score into the Google Sheet for each of the eight skills. That is how you're entered to win one of those Corver United mini balls. Uh, we'll announce today's winner on Monday. Today's winner will be announced Monday. Midway through today, we're going to announce the uh, Wednesday winner from Wednesday's session. And we're going to give you an update on the Trick Shot Challenge and ask a favor for you as well. Midway through the session. So at halftime, we'll catch our breath. We'll chat for a minute and then we'll get right back into it. But to get started... Okay, we're gonna have a quick warm up, and it's gonna be reacting to four different numbers. Number one is top left, number two is the top right for me, number three is back left, number four is back right. Organize it however you want, but have four spots. One, two, three, and four. You can do them like I am, or you can do them in different spots, but right around you, two, three steps away, spot number one, spot number two, spot number three, Spot number four. So to get started, everyone's running in place. I'll call a number, and you've got to quickly get to that number and back. Remember, it's only two, three steps away. Ready, four, get to number four, and come on back. Ready, one, get to number one, come on back. Ready, three, get to number three, come on back. And get there any way you like. Ready, two, get to number two, come on back. Two, to two, and back. One, and back. Four, and back. All right, you're on your toes, you're on your toes. Everybody, hop on one foot. This time, to get to the number, you have to hop on one foot there and back. Ready? Two. Hop on one foot there. Hop on one foot back. All right, you're running in place. Now you're hopping, hopping. Two feet hop. I'll call the number. You've got to hop there, hop back. Three. Hop there and hop back. All right, you're running in place. This time, you have to run there, run back. One. And run back. Here we go. And hold. All right. Catch your breath. Me catch your breath. You wait for the next thing. This time you're gonna move the ball to the number. So if I call two, any way you like, get the ball to two and back. If I call four, get the ball to four and back. If I call one, get it to one and back. It's just two, three steps back to your center starting spot. All right, ready on your toes. Two, get to two, get the ball back to the start. On your toes, one, get to one, get yourself back. Ready on your toes, three, get to three and get back. Ready on your toes, Three, get to three, and get back. Ready, four, one, and hold. This time, boxing the ball in your center area. Whatever number I call, you're gonna box the ball to that spot and box it back. So shuffles there, shuffles back. Tick-tock's there, whatever you wanna call them, boxes, shuffles, whatever it is, there and back, ready? Go, just moving the ball side to side. Ready, one, box to one, box back. Ready, three, box to three, box back. Two, box to two, cheated there, and box back. Four, box to four, and box back. All right, now, you're gonna be running behind the ball when you hear the, uh, the number. One-footed roll, one-footed roll back. So if you hear two, one-footed there, one-footed back. You hear four, one-footed there, one-footed back. You pick the foot. Ready on your toes, jogging in place. One, get to one, get yourself home. Jogging in place, three, get to three, get yourself back. On your toes, four, to four, and get back, all right? Shake it out, shake it out. Another minute of a warm-up, another minute. This time, 
when you hear the color. Dribble to that color, inside chop, get yourself back. So get to the color, inside of your foot back. Ready on your toes, you're gonna go dribble, inside of the foot back. Here we go, on your toes, on your toes, ready. One, dribble there, inside of the foot back, and you're home. On your toes, three, dribble there, inside of the foot back. On your toes, four, dribble there, inside of the foot back. On your toes, on your toes, getting ready. One, dribble there, inside of the foot back. All right, and hold. Last one. When you get out to the number, dribble there, step over, turn to come back, and you're home. Dribble there, step over, turn, and you're back. All right? On your toes, on your toes, get to the number, step over, turn, get back home. Three, dribble there, step over, turn, come back. One, dribble there, step over, turn, come back. Two, dribble there, step over, turn, and come back. Four, step over, turn, run out of room, and come back and hold. All right, that's a warm up. Grab a sip, get yourselves ready to go. Final stretch, final touch. Oh, we got 315, 25. Man, we're close. We're gonna be close. Remember, hit that watch party if you haven't yet. Hit the watch party if you haven't yet. First skill we're gonna use, okay? Everything's gonna be based off that V and L shape today. V and L shape movements are gonna be key to today's session. So with the first one, we're gonna pull V, pull L shape, pull with the sole, move it with the inside of the foot. Start by facing me, pull the ball back, inside of the foot, then you should face out to the side. Pull back, inside forward. Pull back, inside forward, back, inside, back, inside. So you should go from sideways to me, from me to the side, side to me, from me to the side. The left foot will take you to the left, the right foot will take you to the right. So you're going to pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Get a feel for it here, left to left, right to right. It's a one-footed movement. If I pull with my left, the inside of my left takes me to the left side. Then I put the right on the ball. Pull with my right, inside of my right takes me to the right. Pull push with the left foot, pull push with the right foot. Left foot pull push, right foot pull push. Left foot pull push, right foot pull push. I'm going side to side in an L shape. Back to where I started, out to the side. Back to where I started, out to the side. When I pull, you should be rolling if you've got this by the way. When I pull, I'm turning my hips in the direction I wanna be and stepping that way. Pull back, turn my hips, Step to the side, pull back, turn my hips, step to the side, pull back, turn my hips, and step. Turn before I push. Pull and turn, then push. My plant foot in my body goes like this to direct the ball towards you. So I pull and I turn, then it's easier to push forward. Pull and turn, easier to push forward. All right, every L, L at widest, V at skinniest, but we wanna to try to make that L shape if we can. Every L we can get, we're gonna get a point. So it's one, Two, three, four, that's how we're gonna keep score here. 30 seconds, ready, set, go. Two, three, every L, you're logging a point. Make sure there's a tiny push made, not so much that you need to go run and chase the ball, not so tight that you're just stopping it instead of pushing it. We're moving the ball out of our feet a little bit. 10 more seconds. Eight, six, four, three, two, one, time. Good round, good round. Reset the clock there, know what your score was. Now we're gonna try to beat it. So if you beat your score, throw it into the feed. If you didn't beat it, put the old one in. One of the two scores, put in the live feed, then put in the Google Sheet at the end of the session. Remember, pull, push a little in a new space. We don't just wanna stop. Okay, it's not a pull stop. It's a pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. When I push, I also step forward, so it's easier for me to put that same foot back on the ball. So pull, push, I can now plant and put the other foot on the ball. When I push, if I push and leave it here, I'm never gonna catch the ball. So as I go to push forward, I'm also stepping, so my plant foot gets me closer to the ball. So push and step, 
push and step, push and step, push and step. That allows you to keep more control of the ball. Ball stays under toe rather than all over the place. All right, so every L is a point. Ready, set, go. Two, try to take that little half step in the direction the ball is going so that that can be your plant foot for the next pull push that you're going to do. Pull, push to the side, pull, push to the side. As always, if you can scan around the room, scan around the room. Challenge yourself by calling out different objects all around the room. Four seconds, three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work. That's one round done. One of eight in the bag. Feel different on Fridays. Always a different feeling on Fridays. All right. Next one we're gonna, guys, I'm wearing through the turf here. We gotta get outside soon because I'm gonna go right into the tile. Here we go. Shuffle, pull, V, inside, pull. I write things down, and it looks like hieroglyphics when I get out here. Shuffle, pull, V, inside, pull. Okay, here we go, this is what I think I had. Shuffle in the ball. We're gonna pull, push, get the ball back. Shuffle the ball, pull, push, get it back. Shuffle the ball. Pull, push, get it back. Shuffle the ball, pull, push, get it back. So to start, you're getting your rhythm with your shuffles, anything over three touches. Then you're gonna do that pull, push like we just did, but the ball's rolling away. Get it back to your feet so we can shuffle again. Pull, push, get it back, shuffle. Pull, push, get it back, shuffle. Pull, push, get it back, shuffle. Pull, push, pull it back, shuffle. Pull, push, Pull it back, shuffle. Pull, push, get it back, and shuffle. Pull, push, bring the ball back, and shuffle. Pull, push, pull, shuffle. Pull, push, pull, and shuffle. So all we're adding are the three, four shuffles to get our rhythm before we move it. And this is just natural to get the ball back to our feet. Pull, push, bring the ball back to your feet so you can shuffle. Pull, push, bring it back to your feet so you can shuffle. All right. Remember, it's from me to the side, me back to the side. You're working in that L fashion. You have to shuffle the ball at least three times before you pull push. Shuffle three times, then pull push. All right, here we go. Every pull push is a point. At least three shuffles before you're allowed to pull push. And that pull push, we're moving into new space. We're moving into new space. Don't just go here and it's all right here. Your hips should turn, the ball should move. Ready? 30 seconds, every pull push is a point. Set, go. Three shuffles before you do it. Pull push, get it back. Three shuffles, pull push, bring it back. Three shuffles, pull push, bring it back. 15 more seconds, you're halfway through. Hopefully you've got at least six or seven. Pull push. Turn your hips, turn your hips for your push portion. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Remember, you only log points when you push. Only log points when you push. Whew. Quick step if you need it, you got another chance to beat that score. Remember, I was looking through the Google Sheet, I think I noticed something. Good, six weeks in, finally figured it out. When you put your score in, it's for one of the two rounds. When you put your score in the feet, it's one of the two rounds, not combined. So if I just scored 50 there, I don't start at 51. I start back at one. I'm trying to see which of the two rounds I get a better score from. That's how we're counting here. All right, here we go. Pull push, you get a point. Make sure you're turning your hips, going out with the inside of the foot. Here we go, ready, set, go. Shuffle, pull, push, back to your feet. Shuffle, pull, push, back to your feet. Move the ball, move your hips. On that push motion, the ball should go out to the side when you push. Pull it, push. 10 more seconds. I lied. Now there's 10 more seconds. Pull, push, get it back. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nice work, my friends. Nice, nice work. Good round, that's two rounds in, two rounds in. Another thing with the pull push, 
When the ball goes back, my plant foot doesn't stay still. I'm moving back and I'm turning to the side. So it's back to the side, back to the side, back to the side. It allows me to create a little bit more space between me and what will be a defender one day. One day again it will. All right, two-footed pull push. Two-footed. So put one foot on the ball, pull it with the left, push with the right towards the right. Put the right on the ball. Pull with the right, push with the left towards the left. So again, I go from facing you to the side. Facing the side, back to you. So back, out to the side, to me, back to you. To me, out to the side, to me, out to you. To me, to the side, to me, out to you. It's a two-footed movement. If the left foot pulls it, the right foot has to push it. Now reverse it. Right foot pulls, left foot pushes. So if one foot pulls it, the other pushes. One to pull, other to push. You can't use the same foot to make the pull and the push. Two different feet. One foot pulls, other pushes. Reverse the order. One foot pulls, other pushes. Okay? I'd like to make this two separate movements where after it goes in, you push and take a step. Pull, push, take a step. Okay? Pull, push, and step. Pull, push, and step. All right? That's what we're looking to do. Can we make it instead of... That's something a little different, not really quite what I'm aiming for here. Can we create a bit of space? Can we create a bit of space? All right? All right, every L you make is a point. Remember, you need both feet involved to get a point. Both feet involved to get a point. Here we go, 30 seconds. Keeping your score, keeping your score here. Every L is a point. Go, two-footed, pull, push. You face me, you face the side. You face me, you face the side. Push out before you pull in, right to left, left to right. Right to left, left to right. One to the other, one to the other. I'm just painting an L shape, there and back. Eight more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice work, nice work, nice work. That's a round, that's a round. Two footed pull push. When the ball comes back again, there's a slight hop back and push forward. When it comes back, there's a slight hop back to push forward. Nothing drastic, nothing crazy, but it's enough to create a little bit more space. Enough to create a little bit more space. My hips, my shoulders are going out to the side. My hips, my shoulders, they come out to you, okay? Turn your hips, turn your shoulders, turn your plant foot in the direction of where you wanna go as or before the ball arrives. So then you take a cleaner touch to where you want to be. You don't want to be facing out to the right and want to go left. It's a little sloppy. We want to start to turn our hips that way. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Keeping score again. Every L completed is one point. Two-footed pull push. Skill number three. Go. One, two, three. Try to make a tight L. Mine's a little sloppy right now. Hips aren't quite turning how they need to. A V at worst, okay? Don't make this a super obtuse angle for all you geometry kids out there. We're looking to keep a tight 90 degree L shape if we can. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work. That's three down. Three down, my friend. One more skill till half. At half, we're gonna update on a couple things before we roll into the second half of the session. All right, so here we go. Two-footed pull push, followed by a one-footed pull push. We're gonna go in a T shape. What? Two-footed pull push, then a one-footed pull push in a T shape. So start for me by facing out to the side. All right, so I'm facing out to the side. When I'm done my first pull push, I'm facing you, then I'm going to do a one-footed pull push to be facing the other side. So two-footed, one-footed, two-footed, one-footed. Two to face you, one to go to the side. Two-footed to face you, one-footed to go out to the side. Two-footed to face you, 
One footed to go back to you. I'm sorry, to go back to the side. Two footed pull push like we just did. I should be facing you. Once I'm done the one footed pull push, I'm facing out to the side. Two footed pull push to face you. One footed pull push to get out to the side. You should be rolling if you've got a feel. If not, bear with me here. My right foot pulls, my left foot pushes, and I orient myself to the left. My left foot does the pull push to go left again. So whichever foot pushes, that's gonna move you into the direction you wanna go. The left foot doesn't make you go right. The right foot makes you go right. So I pull, push with the right to move to my right. I pull and push with my right to go to the right. Pull, push with the left to go left. Pull, push with the left to go left. So it's back to you, out to the side. Back to you, out to the side. All right, so it should be two foot and one foot. Two foot, one foot, two foot, one foot. They should alternate. If you mess it up, no big deal. Try to paint this T shape from side to middle to side to middle as best you can, okay? Work those L's to make that T shape in the end, that pull push, pull push motion. Make that T shape as best you can. That's gonna be key here. If you can do it in the sequence we're asking, great. If not, no big deal. You just gotta paint that T. You've gotta go up and back, up and back, from side to middle to side again. All right, here we go. Keeping score. Every time I face you, I get a point. So every time I get back to the middle, I get a point. Every time I see you, I get one point. Ready, 30 seconds. Every time you see the camera, you get one point. Side to the middle, side back to the middle. Go. One, two, woo. Two footed to the side. Two footed, one footed. Two footed out to the side. Two footed out to the side. Here we go. Two footed to you, one footed out to the side. Two footed to you, one footed to the side. Five more seconds. Two footed T followed by a one footed. Three, two, one, time. All right, all right, all right. A little hard to count, a little hard to keep your score while you're moving. Remember, if you mess up which foot is pulling, which foot is pushing, no biggie. Make the L shape. Make the L shape, okay? Making the L shape every time is what's going to be most important here, okay? All right, here we go. 30 seconds, keeping your score. Every time you get here, you get a point. Set. Go. Two footed, one foot. Two foot first, one foot second. Two foot, one foot. 20 more seconds, 20 more seconds. Move your plant foot. As you pull and you push, your plant foot should be in different spots. Pull, readjust your feet. Pull, readjust your feet. As you push, take a step to follow the ball. Three seconds, two, one, time. <clears throat> nice, nice work. That's a half. Very nice, we're halfway through. Time to announce last session's winner. Last session's winner. Here we go. Last session's winner. You had to have filled out the Google Sheet in order to be entered to win the ball. And we had, oh, if you guys remember, please, please, please give us a review on Facebook or on our Google page. We would really, really appreciate any kind of review you can leave, good, bad, ugly, whatever it is. Let us know how we're doing. It means a lot to us, helps us a lot. Uh, Helps us to keep improving. So please give us a review on one of those pages. Oh, sorry. Our winner, last session, our winner was Sophia from Burke, Virginia. Sophia from Burke, Virginia, this is yours, my friend. If you know, hey, I'm Sophia, I live in Burke, Virginia, I entered my scores, I do these skills, email me, get ahead of it. All right, get ahead of it, send me an email, that way I don't forget. If not, I will uh, get in touch with you guys and get your mailing address. So I can send this out to you. But congratulations to Sophia from Burke. What do we have, Coach Try? We didn't do it. We didn't do it. Next time. Next time we're going to get 400. Next time we're going to do it. Next time. One of these times at least. I don't know. Uh, outside of that, Sophia won. Oh, update on the trick shot. Two lead competitors right now. Mateo, ping pong ball off the wall. Volley. Hits a pool table, goes corner pocket. Pretty impressive. And then we got one late last night. Dev, also ping pong ball off the wall. Volley, 
just like Coach Kev, off the ground, off the wall, into the cup. All right, so we had one used a pool table, very creative. One did virtually exactly what Coach Kev did, both very good trick shots. If you've got something like that or something different, definitely get it to us sometime over the weekend. We'll announce that winner by Monday session at latest. All right, here we go. Uh, last four skills. Let's go with our pull croy for skill number five. Pull croy for skill number five. Put one foot on the ball, pull, croy behind, other foot on the ball. We're going to go back in that to you, to the side shape, that L shape. So I pull Cruyff out to the side, pull Cruyff back to you. Pull Cruyff to the side, pull Cruyff to you. Pull Cruyff to the side, pull Cruyff to you. Out to the side, back to you. Out to the side, back to you. So we're looking to just keep them going one after the other. So if you can go one after the other, you should be rolling. Let's get going. One after the other, pull Cruyff, pull Cruyff, till your legs fall off, all right? Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. If it's too difficult, watch with me here. One foot on the ball, other foot stands planted on the ground. All right, this is what I should look like. As I pull the ball back, the other foot hops forward, making space to push it behind. One foot on the ball, one foot stands underneath your body. So one on the ball, one planted. As the ball goes back, the plant foot goes forward. Now there's space to tuck the ball behind. All right, so it makes an L shape. So I pull, hop forward, and croif. Pull, hop forward, and croif. Notice my hop. Okay, it's two, three inches, just enough space to tuck the ball behind. Pull, little baby hop. It's not off the ground, okay? It just scoots forward, creating that little extra space to get the ball behind. Scoot forward, I can touch the ball behind. My hips turn as I croy. Pull, croy, my hips turn to follow the ball. As the ball clears my back leg, then my hips turn. Ball clears my back leg and my hips are turning. That's the latest point is after it clears. If you can, as you're moving the ball, you should start turning. But I understand if we're just figuring this out for the first time, we got to go one step at a time. So if we can, pull, croak behind, pull, croak behind. That little hop forward is going to be key. If not, I'm going to end up in those tables or over outside over there. Hop forward, keep your ground. If you can't hop forward, get this, reset the ball, get this, all right? That's level one. We're going to try to go up from there. All right, 30 seconds. Every pull croif is a point. Every pull croif is a point. 30 seconds. Ready. Go at your speed. If you can go one after the other, that's what you should be doing. If you need steps in between, take the steps. We want the actual pull croif motion to be as sharp as possible. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Every time you make that L shape, every time you tuck the ball behind the other leg, you've got yourself a point. Try to keep that L shape with every pull and every Cruyff motion. What do we got? 10 more seconds. Try to pick your head up as often as you can. Try to take a look around as often as you can. Three, two, one, time. Nice work, nice work. Another round of 30. See if we can top that score. As always, get the scores into the feed whenever you got them. Here we go. Every pull croif is a point. Keep your ground by that little hop forward if you can. Here we go. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Every time you tuck the ball behind, you get a point. Turn your hips in the new direction. As the ball is being croiffed behind that standing leg. Your croif should not be too heavy. You shouldn't be chasing the ball around. It's very light. Just barely gets through behind the other foot. Three, two, one, time. Whew. Good round, good round, good round. All righty. Next one we are going to go with. Get your score into the feed. Next one we're going to go with. Pull push, then a pull croy. So the pull push, we're not going to move anywhere crazy. We're going to keep it pretty tight. Okay, the ball's going to stay underneath our foot for both those movements. So my pull and my push, the ball stays tight. The pull croy, I'm going to make a little bit of movement. So pull push towards you. Pull Cruyff to tuck it behind. 
Pull push towards the side. Pull Cruyff to face you. Pull push just to go forward. Pull Cruyff to go to the side. Pull, Cruyff, pull push to go to the side. Pull Cruyff to go forward. Pull push. Pull Cruyff. Pull push. Pull Cruyff. Pull push. Pull Cruyff. Pull push. Pull Cruyff. Push. Then a Cruyff. Pull push. Then a Cruyff. Pull push. Then a Cruyff. Pull push. Then a Cruyff. You'd like your foot to be attached to the ball for the pull push and the next pull. So my foot never really leaves the ball. I need some flexibility in my ankle to do that. So when the ball goes back, start with it on top. I turn my toes in to expose the laces. Then I go back to the top again. So I'm pulling the ball back, turn my toes towards the other foot. That exposes my laces, all right? Pulling the ball back, turning my toes sideways, exposing my laces to the ball. So pull, push, getting my pinky toe, getting my laces exposed to the ball. Then the pull cruyff behind like we've done. So expose your laces to the ball, then you're gonna tuck it behind. Pull, push, pull, cruyff behind. Pull, push with the laces, pull again, touch with the inside. Pull, push with the laces, pull again, tuck with the inside. All right, here we go, 30 seconds, keeping your score. Ready, set, go. One, every time you pull Cruyff, you get a point. Sorry, I don't think I said it. Every time you get a point for pull Cruyffing. Pull push, then you can pull Cruyff. 10 more seconds, kidding, 15 more seconds. You got more time. You should have a little bounce. Hop in your step for the pull push motion. Four, three, two, one, time. Nice round, nice round. On the pull push, don't think I said it. To keep our foot attached to the ball, our foot never hits the ground. So we're balancing, we're hopping on that other foot to make that happen. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. Every pull correction point. Set, ready, set, go. One, keep that foot in the air for the pull push and the pull. It doesn't hit the ground until you've croifed behind. Until you've completed that croif, you can't let that other foot hit the ground. One foot works the ball, the other foot keeps your balance. One foot for the ball, the other one keeps your balance. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. Time, 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 time. Woo! That's six. We've got dos mas. Two more. Two more. Shuffle, pull, croy, pull. All right, so this next one, we're going to go in our T shape again. I think maybe the last two, we're actually going to hit that T shape again. I'm going to start by facing you guys. All right, so I'm shuffling the ball. I'm going to shuffle, 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 pull Cruyff, pull it back into my feet, shuffle, 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 pull Cruyff, pull it back into my feet, shuffle, 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 pull Cruyff, back into my feet, shuffle, 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 pull Cruyff, get it back, shuffle, pull Cruyff, get it back, shuffle, pull Cruyff, pull it back, shuffle, Pull Cruyff, get it back. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, get it back. Shuffle, Woo. pull Cruyff, pull it back. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, get it back. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, get it back. Pull Cruyff, pull it back. Pull Cruyff, pull it back. We're going in that T shape. So I'm out to the right, back to you, out to the left. From out to the left, back to you, out to the right. Anytime you face the camera, anytime you get back to the middle portion of the T, Back to the middle, get a point. Side, back to the middle, get a point. Side, back to the middle, get a point. Shouldn't be spinning in circles. If it happens, so be it. You've got a pull Cruyff to get you back facing the camera. Shuffle to get a feel, pull Cruyff to get to the other side. Back to you. Pull Cruyff, shuffle, pull Cruyff. So I'm gonna do two right footed in a row, then I'm gonna do two left footed in a row. That's how I wiggle myself from one side of the tee to the other. All right, here we go. Face one side, face the middle, doesn't matter how you get started, 
Just make that T shape. Make that T shape. Ready. And if you can't make the T, if you're just shuffling and pull croifing, that's all you need to do, my friends. That's it. Okay, that's good enough. Shuffle, pull, croif. Shuffle, pull, croif. That'll be good enough if that's what you need to do. If you can keep in the pattern, great. If not, no biggie. We're all just trying to get better here. Do what you can do at your level. Ready, 30 seconds. Every time you face the camera as a point, set, go. Shuffle, then a pull croif, get the ball back. Shuffle, then a pull croif, get the ball back. Shuffle, then a pull croif, get it back. Pull it back with the bottom, shuffle to keep it tight, pull croif behind. Pull croif, pull it back with the bottom. Pull croif, pull it back with the bottom. Pull croif, get it back with the bottom. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Time. Nice round, nice round. You're gonna get one more chance at that. One more chance at that skill. Score should have been something like, I don't know, 10 to 15, probably on a pretty high end, I think. Could be way off. Someone could probably say, I did that in the first 10 seconds, coach. Maybe, maybe, but 10 would be good for me. All right, if you're getting at least five, that's really nice. 10 is great, 15, I think you're moving at a real high pace. Ready, every time you face the camera's a point, pull Cruyff behind, face the camera, pull Cruyff behind, face the other side. Ready, get your shuffles in between, anything more than three counts, go. Pull it back, pull Cruyff to face the side, get it back to your feet, pull Cruyff to face the camera, back to your feet, pull Cruyff to face the other side. Make that T shape if you can. If you can't, just shuffle the ball three or four times, Make a pull croif. Shuffle the ball three or four times. Make a pull croif. Woo, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Nice work. That's seven sessions. I mean seven sessions. That's seven skills. Almost 18 sessions. Here we go, last one. Last skill. Last skill of the day. Woo! Here we go. In a T shape again, you're facing the camera. Working in that T shape again if we can. Facing the camera. Hopefully this one comes off. Hopefully this one makes sense. Shuffling the ball, getting our rhythm. After I've got my rhythm, after three, four touches, I'm going to pull Cruyff out to the side. As soon as I pull Cruyff, that same foot is going to go inside inside back to you so i've got the ball at my feet i'm shuffling 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 pull croif to face the other way inside of the same foot to get it back to you so if you're feeling it shuffle pull croif double chop 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 if if you've got it, run. Get going. If not, here we are. Shuffle on the ball, right? Inside, inside, shuffle on the ball. Then we're going to pull croif. Whichever foot pull croif. So if my right does the pull croif, my right is going to dribble me inside of my foot until I see you again. All right? Now I'm going to do it the other foot. I'm shuffling. My left foot is going to pull croif. Then the inside of my left foot is going to dribble me in a circle until I see you again. So pull croif, then dribble in a tight circle see me again. Shuffling, pull Cruyff, dribble in a circle till you see me again. Shuffling, pull Cruyff, dribble in a circle till you see me again. Almost went over. Pull Cruyff, you should see me. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, touch, touch, you should see me. When the ball's out to the side, inside of my foot, two touches at worst. If it takes you three or four, that's fine, but we like to one, two touches. All right, so it's also in its own L shape. One, two touches facing you again. All right, here we go. We're going to give it a run. Pull Cruyff, twist off, you're facing me again. Pull Cruyff, twist off, facing us again. Go out to this side, then out to that side. After your pull Cruyff, basically dribble in a circle till you see us again. Pull Cruyff, dribble in a circle till you see us again. Same foot to dribble in the circle as you pull Cruyff to it. Here we go. Set. Go. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, same foot. Twist off. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, same foot. Does our twist off. 
pull Cruyff, same foot, one, two, and I see you again. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, same foot, and I see you again. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, same foot, dribble in a circle. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, same foot, back in a circle. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, two touches, back to you. Shuffle, pull Cruyff, two touches, back to you, and time. Uh, I don't know if I reminded you, but I think every time we faced the camera, that was a point. Any time we faced the camera, that was a point. Hopefully it made some sense. You get one more chance at this. If it doesn't, just pull Cruyff, dribble yourself in a circle until you see the camera again. Well, however many touches it takes. Back to the camera, pull Cruyff again. Circle back to the camera, pull Cruyff again. 30 seconds, keeping your score. Every time you see the camera is a point. Set, go. Woo! Shuffle the ball, pull Cruyff, two touches if you can. Shuffle the ball, pull Cruyff, two touches if you can. Shuffle the ball, pull Cruyff, two inside touches back to the screen. Pull Cruyff, two inside touches back to the screen. Pull Cruyff, two inside touches back to the screen. Five more seconds, pull Cruyff, two touches, three, two, one. Time, my friends. That's it. That's a session. That's session number 18. That is six weeks. Six weeks you've been going at this. Three sessions a week. Six weeks. If you missed a session, go back and do it this weekend. If you like the session, go back and do it again this weekend. There's no limit to how many times you can try the sessions. They're all on YouTube. Go and find them on YouTube on our Core Reunited page. Repeat the sessions a thousand times. All right, that's what they're there for. Review us on the Facebook page. Review us on the Google page. Any review is great. Uh, we will see you Monday. For session number 19, I can't believe it, our seventh week. We might have a big announcement coming next week as well. So session number 19, starting our seventh week. Get those watch parties, invite those friends. Let's see if we can get to 400 next week so we can give away those shorts. Uh, that's about all I've got. Keep practicing your social distancing. Keep washing your hands. Stay safe out there. Wear a mask if you've got it. Stay healthy, everyone. Uh, see you Monday. Peace.